Hello mate, Buddha Pat here again, and I'm using a horrible British accent to review this horrible British game, Grim Reaper. Love death? Of course you do! You are a reaper and have all the time in the world to collect souls with your little reaper friends. But what? Wait, no! The Grim Reaper is retiring to the Caribbean and is looking at one of his protégés to take over his soul-gathering business. So, tell me, are you devious and heartless enough to steal a job from your colleagues? Designed by two English idiots, captured artist Oliver Brooks and game tinker Ollie Mack, you must collect the souls with the best or worst deaths and use actions to scupper your rivals. Easy to learn, tricky to master. But hang on, you, yes you! There's also an extreme version, with death too sick and twisted to show here. Ugh, bloody horrible. It's a fun, morbid game for two to four players. Twenty minutes exactly to play. Tactical and mean. Guaranteed to cause long-lasting resentment among your family and friends. And it was that video that sold me on the game. Alright, I'm not going to do that anymore. Apologies to all my British friends. If I happen to have any. Um, okay, so. Uh, a game came across my feed on Facebook several months ago. And called Grim Reaper. And I was uh, intrigued. So I looked at the Kickstarter. Which will be linked down below. Because I'm not sure how else you're going to be able to get this game. If you so desire. Um, I looked at Kickstarter. It was 30 lira. Which is I think roughly 40 bucks for me. In the US dollars. Um, but they had two packs for the Kickstarter. They had the regular Grim Reaper. It is a 53 card deck. And they had the Extreme Grim Reaper, which is also a 53 card deck. Now, each deck actually comes with 56 cards. Uh, of the 56 cards, 53 are used for the game. Uh, two are the rules, which are very simple. And one is a card checklist, which is very handy. Um, I, I actually, that's one of the things that I really appreciate about this game. I did not know that that was going to happen um, before I got the game. Um, I've not actually played it yet. Uh, I've done a few test hands, and uh, it's it's really fun. It kind of plays like rummy. Um, or gin, or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, you have you know seven cards in your hand, and at the end of the time frame, whoever has the more, most points becomes the Grim Reaper. Um, but there are action cards where you can steal your hand and steal your steal cards from other players, etc., uh, etc. Et there is a how to play video that Ollie Mac and um, the uh, artist I forget his name all of a sudden, but he was he was listed in the video there. Um, uh, has put up on YouTube to uh, show you how to play it. Um, having not actually played the game with other people, I do have to say that I do really like the game. Um, now, I'll tell you the difference between the packs. The Grim Reaper regular version is uh, more of a family-friendly type game. The extreme version is uh, a little more hardcore death. And we'll go through some of the cards uh, here in a moment. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was very intriguing. Um, at least the way they presented it on the Kickstarter. Uh, so of course I backed it. And like I said, it was like 40 bucks uh, in total. I, like I said, I don't remember exactly, but it was like 30 lira. Uh, or pounds or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the world uh, money structures, um, but it was fairly cheap. I liked the idea, and I was intrigued. Like most Kickstarters, they try to hook you in. There was no stretch goals or anything. It was just the decks. Um, now, these are the same people that made this game, the same people that make like soundscapes and stuff like that, fantasy music for role-playing games. Um, they do have another couple of games. I'll link their website in the description below, along with the Kickstarter, like I said. Because uh, I don't think, when I looked yesterday or the day before, when I really started prepping for this video, um, I don't think that the Grim Reaper was on their website. Now, like I said, they, they are a British company, uh, so you have to deal with uh, international shipping and blah, 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 blah. Um, the two packs just came like this in an envelope, um, but it was like international airmail and something like that. Um, 
I haven't really um, had much to deal with as far as much play as some of the other people who got like back the Kickstarter. They did say that one of the problems was with, with printing was that sometimes the the black ink will chip and get stuck to the white portions of the thing. They said possibly sleeves would fix that issue and not have to worry about it. Also sleeves, you know, kind of help with the wear and tear of uh, most games. Uh, card games, anyway. Um, but what I want to do at this point is kind of go through some of the cards to give you an idea of what you're, you're getting into. Um, so this is the family pack. And as I said, we had a rules card one, rules card two. Let me get that in there. Let me go back to card one for a second because, and I just dropped rules card two because it didn't seem to focus right. There we go. Rules card one, and I dropped rules card two. Here's rules card two again. And as I stated, a deck list basically for the family deck. Now, you have stuff like uh, deaths. And now here's how the cards are set up. We have that plus 50 at the top. That's how much souls this is worth, basically. Um, this is backstabbing friends. And if you have this in your hand at the end of the 20 minutes, you get 50 points. Um, this one here is Blind Date with Medusa. Um, Schwartz has worked 70 points. Again, at the end of the 20, 20 minutes. Um... Choose a career in the arts is only worth five points. But there are several different things here. The dire diarrhea. Um, discovery of the last dinosaur. Hope I'm getting this art to you well enough. Uh, drunk by a vampire. You know, kind of supernatural, funny, goofy stuff. Um... I don't want to ruin every card here, but they're also action cards. Let me see if I can find an action card real quick. Um, da, 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 da. I know there's not many. Okay, like, um, hold on a little bit. Okay, so we have action cards. Is it, like, this is called Black Death. All other players lose one card. Now, here's the thing about action cards. As I understand the rules, they have a negative connotation. So if this is in your hand at the end of the 20 minutes, you lose 30 points. Um, blind Justice, all other players turn cards over and play blind for one round. Uh, worth negative 40 points. Um... Blind swap, turn cards over and swap one random card with a player. Uh, minus 20 points. Um, I want to say there's something else. But it's mainly soul cards and action cards. Don't see anything else. Um, there was another card here about your turn. Where did that go? Um, there was a gimmick in the video with uh, about how to play. There was, something, there was an action card about losing your turn. I'm trying to find it. Because they made a point about mentioning that one. Well, where the fuck did it go? Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? I know it's a darker card. But yeah, like I said, in this game, it's very kind of straightforward, very simple to play. Um, well, now I can't find it. It's going to be here somewhere unless it fell. Now, these are the card backs, by the way. Very simple, straightforward. Um, but yeah, like I said, they look like a fun game. And, of course, I had to get both packs because, you know, hardcore and edgy as I am, uh, I want to kind of compare as well, too. So, I mean, some of these, like, uh, you got a Probed by Martians card here. Kind of goofy sci-fi 
ish cards in the family pack. Um, if you have kids and want to play this game, I'd probably recommend just using the family pack if you have a chance to get it. Where the fuck did that card go? Because they made a point, and I just saw it a minute ago, and I wanted to use it or see it for a second. Did I drop it? I didn't drop it. All right, hang on a second. Let's go back through these cards again. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time here. Should be fairly easy to find. All right. God damn it. I had a point to this, god damn it. There's something about losing your turn. Soul card, soul card, soul card, soul card. You know, this is what happens when you uh, do videos in a blog style uh, what you call it? I don't fucking get this. What the hell happened? It's sticking together, really. Maybe it wasn't a soul card. Let's see. Trade with the Ferryman, Blind Justice, Black Death, Blind Swap, Scythe, Soul Train, Resurrect the Dead, Mirror Mirror, Jar of Cyphus, Body Snatcher. I am so sorry. Alright, well. This is kind of getting on my nerves now. Oh. Okay. That's what it was. It's an action card, but it's not worth a point. That's it. here. It was a little different than what I thought it was. Uh, what it looked like, anyway. That's what it looked like. So, uh, pass this card, pass this to the next player once your turn is over, not for play. That's what it was. So, this card is used to keep track of um, whose turn it is, basically. So, you do your turn, you pass it to the next player. It's kind of just a token. But they made a point in the video about how to play that this is what this does. And I... It, I had to think about it. I, I, my brain is Swiss cheese. I forgot exactly what the point was, but I knew it was something about missing a turn or a turn or something like that. So this one card, uh, I believe, is in both decks, and uh, it's used as kind of a, a play tracker. And in their example, it's like if you're drunk and you're playing for a while and you don't, you get rambled off. This is what you use to kind of uh, keep track of whose turn it is. Um, so again, that's the only card that doesn't have a point value. Um, and it's really not used for the game. So there are 56 cards, 52 in the main deck, one for the tracker, two for the rules, and one for the, the card list. Now, uh, that's the, the main deck. Um, the other deck, the more extreme deck, supposedly, 
And I haven't really gone through these. I've, I've opened it up and removed the cellophane, but that's about it. Um, the extreme death is supposed to have the extreme deck is supposed to have more um, brutal death, so to speak. Um, so again, we have the two rules cards. We've already been through those. The um, card list, which, like I said, I really appreciate that they included a card with all the cards that are supposed to be in this pack, supposedly. Um, I know some, some companies put it online, uh, but I appreciate having the actual physical card, because that way, I, I the, way, the way I intend to play this is with both decks combined, which um, with one deck, you can play one to four players, with two, well, two to four players. With uh, two decks, you can, with both of them combined, you can play them two, uh, two to eight. Uh, and, you know, I like playing with more people. It's kind of, it's kind of like, like I said it was earlier, it's kind of like Jin, but when you add in the Extreme Pack, it's more like, it's like Cards Against Humanity and Jin put together, kind of thing. Uh, anyway, so we have, uh, let's see, the, the first kind of soul card we have here is worth five points, and we call it a real mermaid, and that's not terribly you know, a brutal picture or whatever. But the, you know, the lore of the mermaid is what makes it brutal. Uh, we have the better late than never, which is kind of like a, uh, a chick on train tracks, like an old western kind of thing. That's kind of brutal. Uh, this one's more funny to me than kind of brutal. It's called Catstration. And it's a, like, a big guy getting his balls clawed off with by a cat. That's kind of brutal. I would admit that. We're kind of gaining uh, brutality or actually this is just strange. This is called chicken pox and it's a guy looking in the mirror. He's got a chicken head. You see that? I do like the line art in all of this. That's really cool. Um, we have culture vultures which is people getting of high society being uh, chewed on by vultures. You can see that there. Um, this is called Defenestration Sensation. It seems like a guy falling out of a window. Uh, now keep in mind, this is a British game made by British people. There were probably some jokes that we just don't get as Americans. I can accept that. I, I didn't buy it necessarily for the culture. I bought it because I like the idea of the game. Um... We have a Drown Your Sorrows, which is a guy being drowned in a whiskey barrel. And like I said, these are just some of the the more brutal deaths. <laughs> I actually like this one. This one's kind of cool. So this is a hamster ball lector. And it's the hamster eating the brains. Kind of like that scene from... Um, it wasn't Signs of the Lambs. It was the second one. Uh, I don't remember, but you know what I'm talking about because it leads that guy's brains. Was it Silence? No, I don't think it was Silence of the Lambs because there was three movies. There was Silence of the Lambs, which was first. There was the middle one that I'm not thinking of, Hannibal, maybe, and then Red Dragon. But Red Dragon actually came out first as far as the in world chronology goes, or something like that. I don't remember. Um, this one's kind of disgusting. It's a uh, drown in your own vomit. But these are, like I said, some of the examples of the the uh, death or the how you take souls in order to gain points, basically. But what I want to do is I want to see if there's any uh, action cards that um, are different from the first pack. So we have, let's see, we have a Black Death, we have Blind Justice, Blind Swap. Body Snatcher, I think these are just all the same. Death Stare, Don't Feed the Reaper, Exorcism. These all look the same, actually, from the first pack. Um, but yeah, they, actually, these are all the same. So... Well, that's interesting then, because if the other one, let's see something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, 
no shift. Lost count already. Because I dropped multiple cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, now though evidently there is one other card in here that the first deck didn't have uh, unless I missed the the counter card again the turn card um, Uh, maybe it's in here. I just didn't see it a minute ago. Let's look real quick. Because these can't be played separately. They are built to be played separately as an extreme version and a more family-friendly version. Um... Shit. Well, let's take a look at the card list then. I can't even remember what that card was called now. Uh, anyways, either there's an extra card in the um, Your Turn Chum. Let's see if that's listed on the card list in the first game or the first set. Seem to be in alphabetical order, so no. Now the question is, can I find that card in this pack? Can you like? Okay. It, doesn't, it actually doesn't make sense that they would put an extra card, an extra usable card, in the extreme pack compared to the the normal pack. But it seems like they did. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to go through this one more time just to make sure. And I am sorry if you feel that I am wasting your time, but I got to get this video to 10 minutes somehow. So. Uh, well, that's a cool death. It's which floor, ma'am? She's getting crushed between the elevator doors. Can you see that? Come on now. You can the pack. Uh, I guess there's an extra card. I don't know what it would be, but... on the box or in the box that indicates that there would be an extra card. Let's see, what does the other box say? Uh, which is the, the back of the, the family, quote unquote family version, just kind of is a brief summary of what the rules are. Um, interesting. Um, but yeah, as I said, 
I, like I said, have not played, but I really dig the aspect of these two of these games or game, as you would put it. Um, so what I what I suggest buying the game. Um, yeah, sure, I would suggest it. Depends on, it just depends on kind of how dark you are or what kind of games you're really interested in. Like I said, it kind of plays like Gin Rummy. Um, to kind of go through the rules for a minute, um, shuffle cards, deal everybody seven cards. At the beginning of your turn, you must have seven cards. At the end of your turn, you must have seven cards. So you have cost of seven cards. Uh, you put the extra cards in the middle. Uh, you draw a card. Decide if you want to keep it. Um, it's an action card, you can play it. Um, if it's a soul card, you want to keep it, but you have to swap it out with something else. Or play the action card. Well, let's double check that then. I think if you can play an action card, you have to draw up. Let's see, each player is dealt seven cards. You must have seven cards at the end and beginning of your round. Place leftover cards in the center of the... In the center, this is an active pile. Uh, set a timer for 20 minutes. And cover it. That's the other thing. You don't you don't want to know exactly how much time you got left. Um, player closest to death starts when play then plays clockwise. Take a card from the action pile if you want to keep it. Swap it with a card in your hand. Uh, if you don't want it, place it on the discard pile. Or if it's an action card, use it if you want. Use action cards against other players. Continue play keep play until the timer runs out. To find the winner, each player adds up their hands, soul cards, totaling using the numbers in the top corner, and subtracts any leftover action cards. The player with the most points is crowned the new Grim Reaper. Um, and then you can play another hand for 20 minutes, and then trade Grim Reapers off and maybe score points off of who wins different hands and stuff like that. Uh, oh, wow. This has gone on for a lot longer than I thought it uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. Um, I may do a follow-up to this once I actually play it, but I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this game. Um, like I said, I will link the Kickstarter at the bottom. I will link the website if you can buy it there at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do a second printing or what have you or anything like that. Uh, I'm sure the Kickstarter will update that as they go along. But with that being said, this is Boda, and I'll see you next time. That was horrible. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye.